Hello, this is an 8x2 lithium iron phosphate uh, battery using these 6 amp hour cells with threaded studs on each end and I've got my uh, four hole cell connect boards on here. I'm just going to break this in half because I'm going to build a 4S battery just to do some experiments. So let's take off this uh, middle board which uh, will allow me hopefully to split this pack into two 4S 2P packs uh, because there are the cells, uh, these are the positives and these are the negatives. Ah, okay the way I've done this is uh, I need to split those that way but I need to split these that way so on one side of this they're all going to have to come off I'll do that now right that should let me split the pack here like so and then I should be able to slide that off there okay so that's two uh, 4s 2p packs so let's reassemble the board on there so I've got this um, board sticking out the side like so so that would be the most positive, that's the most negative, this is the midpoint and then the other two connections are on these boards. Um, so I want to make this 4S uh, board because I want to try out a new BMS I've got, actually that's an 8S BMS isn't it? Um, but I've also got the cell balancer. So I thought I might give uh, this one a go which has these wires ending like that. So I can see how effectively uh, this one works. And uh, if you remember my supercapacitor with the voltmeters, uh, this one is actually still at 1.8 volts and I was charging that last night. So that's gone all through the night uh, and gone from 2.7 volts down to 1.8. Uh, so these uh, meters, these voltmeters take very little power and I just thought for convenience I'd put them on JST oh they spin, yes that's uh, slightly annoying but I put them on JST 2 pin connectors uh, like so so I'll take one of these off and I'll show you how I've uh, fitted that so I've done a little bit of internal wiring uh, on the 1.5 volt input and the ground brought those round, I could get this um, screw out of here couldn't I because that's not really helping me uh, brought those round to a JST two pin socket and then just put hot glue in there to glue that in I've also wrote the voltage that I measured on my reference uh, cell, my little uh, lithium ion phosphate AA cell so yeah with these uh, sockets it's just a bit more convenient because I can remove these from the super cap uh, I can plug that back into the super cap now and that shows the 1.8 volts. I've also slightly cut away the little arms on these JSTs because I've always felt JSTs just a bit tight aren't they? So I've just uh, cut those off in there so that you can get the JST out a little bit easier. And uh, these of course I'll put four on my dad's office board here uh, so I'll make up two more of these and these are just cut up uh, BT168 pros actually not the D the pro um, just the top left hand corner of them rewired so that I've got this oops convenient plug so then I was thinking how do I connect everything to this and I was in the shed and I saw uh, these angle brackets which I bought from Aldi and uh, I thought if that went on there and then another one went on this side coming over this way it kind of gives me all my intermediate and endpoint connections across the middle here across the top which I thought might be quite convenient and so um, I could put these uh, banana sockets these terminal posts um, on one of these screw it onto the board now what I really want is for this to mount in the middle of the board like that um, to give me that connection which is an end point on this battery and then I'd have another one, I've, uh, this is actually a bigger one but 
you can see how it would work, which would come across like so. And then you'd have all the connection points on the top for things like BMS, balancer, and even the voltmeters, although the, the JST wires are very thin and they're not really suitable for uh, banana plugs. And so what I thought is, let's make a new PCB here, which extends up to a third row and then has some sockets in the middle or some holes in the middle where I can mount this bracket so it'll sit up like that. Um, and then everything's plug and play and I can try different balancers, different BMSs and all that sort of stuff. So I've actually worked on a new board. Now, ultimately this battery is going to have 40 cells because it's going to be five cells high by eight cells across because it's going to be a 25.6 volt battery. So I've uh, made a new board which is actually two by three and so that will cover the first three rows and then another board will cover the next two rows and have a bit sticking out the top which will enable me to put all of this stuff on. So let's have a look at that PCB. So here's the board, it's um, two cells wide, three cells tall and you can see I've got a couple of mounting holes here for um, the angle bracket which means I can put um, uh, banana sockets, terminal posts on there. Now I've done spoked holes for the cells with the sort of idea that these are fuses. I've made them very large actually so they probably wouldn't work very well as fuses. I don't know, maybe they blow and you've got to remember of course they're on both sides because this is a double-sided board. Um, so yeah all the cells are effectively fused into this back plane. I've also peppered it with uh, vias to sort of connect the two sides together at positions uh, in addition to the uh, through holes here. So when those PCBs arrive I can fit them onto here, connect up um, these little voltmeters, four of them to the four uh, cells, see what the voltages look like, uh, then stick some banana plugs on the end of these wires of the balancer. I'll stick a load on a couple of the cells to sort of unbalance them with the other cells and then just see how effectively the balancer brings all the cells back into balance. But those are my thoughts currently for my um, new battery that will ultimately go in the shed and be charged by solar. That's it for this video. Cheerio!